thank goodness some might say. With me now is the tech reporter LJ Rich from BBC Click. Uh, LJ, we'll come to phone calls in a moment. We have a lot to say about that. But just exactly what's going to change? What are you going to be able to do? OK, you're going to be able to read e-books, for example, do various things with your phone in flight-safe mode. And uh, th I think it's, yes, let me read this thing from the FAA. It says, use your phone in airplane mode from gate to gate. That means read e-books, play games, watch videos on the devices during all phases of flight. However, this will only kind of come into effect once the airlines have gone through various things in order to be approved. So okay. this isn't like a blanket thing that everyone's going to be able to do this straight away. Uh, airlines are still going to have to be able to prove that their aircraft is suitable to be um, allowing see. you to do so things on your phone. Aircraft need to be tested, not the devices individually. Yes, kind that would of, be a nightmare. Yes. It's more like the airline's going to say, right, this particular aircraft is okay for passengers to continue to use sort of internet and, and what have you on their <laughs> whilst right. they're on their journey. Because yes. at the moment, if you're checking your email, even offline while mm -hmm. you're sitting waiting to take off, they'll tell you to turn off your device once the plane started to taxi, won't they? Yeah, pretty much, yes. You need to turn everything off completely, whereas they're, they're kind of saying... It's, it's uh, yeah, basically what's happening is the FAA are expecting a number of car uh, carriers in the US to implement this sort of slowly by the end of right. this year. Right, and this is just the US carriers domestically and flights from the US to, to other yes. destinations. Mm -hmm. um, this won't you won't be able to surf the internet unless there's a wi-fi on the plane as you've informed me there is a, there are planes that actually provide yes, what a lot, of their, a lot of carriers will allow you to surf on their with their wi-fi service i mean the main thing is i guess for airlines is that they'll be able to promote the the flying office it's almost like if you are traveling from one place to another on an aircraft instead of just being cut off you'll still be able to make those mm. valuable contributions <laughs> at, at work and you're still yeah. on even though you're kind of in the air i don't so. know if that's good or bad news and I mean finally the phone call aspect yes. still a complete ban on phone calls on your own mobiles right now, uh, yes. I think many people would be very pleased that mm -hmm. that's going to stay like that mm -hmm. given yes. the experiences most of us have on the trains nowadays <laughs> yes um, why why the difference between uh, using it tapping it rather than talking on it I think there's something I, I watched a video recently with a Boeing engineer talking about how different things that you're doing on your phone or your tablet can interfere with certain things on an aircraft so making voice calls would possibly interfere with particular things you're not going to bring a phone a phone isn't going to bring an aircraft down from the sky I mean they're, they're basically saying that it might mean that pilots have to do a little bit more work in order to, to sort of keep looking at the systems Gosh. and not be distracted so it's it, basically you're not going to drop out of the sky if your phone is on but you're still not allowed to use it okay LG thank thank you so much LJ Richard from BBC click